be ready five seconds start mr vice chairman sir i welcome the budget proposals for the year 2012-13 which are all comprehensive and which embrace most of the development plans that we have envisaged for the establishment of a socialist society in this country in spite of the taxation and the introduction of fresh duties we find that the finance minister has succeeded in disturbing only a microscopic section of the people of this country to extract sufficient funds for our schemes the finance minister has also succeeded in finding funds for almost all the development plans of this country which will add to our good while we discuss the general aspects of the budget we will have to consider the activities of most of the sections that are now covered in the budget even though the provisions are there i think sir the expenditure on some of the activities envisaged in this budget should be subjected to a thorough scrutiny in this respect sir i wish to bring to the notice of this house the special feature of the educational system of this country some of the members have mentioned something about the educational system of this country have remarked that the allocation of funds is not adequate and that the provision should be revised according to the needs of this country as the honorable member was speaking in hindi i did not thoroughly understand what he meant but still sir the educational system has created a sort of confusion in our country over the last 15 years and every now and then we had been changing the schemes and plans for educating our children and various states have adopted different schemes which have actually created a feeling of disintegration among the people of this country in some of the states they have switched on to the regional language as the medium of instruction and in some states they think that english should be retained as the medium of instruction but the people believe that the medium of instruction should be hindi that is the national language of our country but sir the time is not yet ripe for us to switch on to hindi so as and when we find it feasible we may switch on to our national language but till that time we will keep english as the medium of instruction in all educational institutions sir the other day the university grants commission submitted a report wherein they have mentioned that english should be the medium of instruction at least in the colleges sir it is my opinion that english should be retained in this country for years to come till we find that we could translate all the essential books books on science and technology etc into hindi which should be able to help us in educating our boys especially in the technical institutions through hindi as the medium here sir some of the members have pointed out with regard to the introduction of different types of education in the same state or in various parts of this country we find that a majority of the children of our country are educated in the basic system which brings out as far as i know second class citizens in this country 
who are to be governed by the boys who are sent to the public schools most of the children of the haves are sent to the public schools and they are imparted expert training and when they come out they are definitely superior to those boys who undergo this basic system of education if this basic education is considered to be the best for the development of our country in the socialistic way we will have somehow or other to find some better means of imparting education whereby they will be able to compete with the students who are now undergoing training in the public schools unless we do it we will be creating as i previously mentioned a second class of citizens in this country i hope the authorities who are concerned with the planning of education in this country will review their schemes according to the suggestions that i have put forth now in the same way sir our country is mainly depending on our agriculture and industries for the development of our economy but the agriculturists are an ignorant section of our people who do not find in spite of the development in that sector of our economy of high production a better income as the industrial sector is having in this country the industrial sector is fast improving and their standard of living has gone high at the same time in spite of the better production in the agricultural section the agrarian population has not come at par with the industrial section of this country in the same way industrial laborers are organized most of them are given so many benefits and advantages according to the legislation that is passed for the betterment of industrial laborers of this country